Welcome back to School of Civil Engineering. This is Atullah with another new video. In our previous video, I have just uh, shown you that how we'll define our uh, materials properties, slab properties, beam properties, then reinforcing, reinforcing bar sizes, and uh, column properties. And uh, from that lecture, I mean in this lecture, I will just show that how we'll define our soil subgrade properties. Now, uh, actually, this is uh, very very important for our foundation design to defend soil subgrade pro subgrade properties and uh, i think it's very very essential okay so uh, to defend subgrade properties just to have to click here uh, click here soil subgrade properties okay we have to we have to just click here soil subgrade properties and uh, the one thing before uh, starting that i mean before uh, seeing that properties defining please uh, watch our previous video and i think that will be very very helpful for you and also if you're new to our channel then subscribe to our channel and also press the bell icon so first of all we'll click here soil subgrade properties click here after that here After that, you have to uh, click here, add new properties. So from here, this is the soil bearing capacity or soil BC. Okay, sorry, uh, soil BC. And from here, you can change that color. After that, they have uh, some option, linear option, non-linear case only. Okay, sorry, a non-linear option, non-linear case only suppose just uh, if you click here then it is non-linear uh, for linear only okay then this is for tension only subgrade modulus actually uh, how it work suppose when we'll when we'll always uh, use compression only because uh, our uh, foundation will compress the soil okay and uh, by compressing it will distribute its load on it okay that's why we'll uh, provide compression only right now here um, it's uh, showing us subgrade modulus okay subgrade modulus is the property subgrade modulus actually what is that what is subgrade modulus actually the subgrade modulus is uh, the modified value of our soil bearing capacity okay so to define that you have to know about something that uh, just simply I will open just see here this is our value for for soil subgrade modulus so actually what is the equation here soil subgrade modulus equal to k equal to pressure by deformation pressure divided by deformation okay pressure divided by deformation what is the pressure actually this pressure is the bearing capacity okay has the pressure means allowable bearing capacity and deformation means allowable settlement in foundation allowable settlement in foundation right so here uh, allowable for example suppose our allowable bearing pressure is 200 kilopascal okay and uh, allowable settlement is 25 millimeter now um, our uh, soil subgrade modulus will be k equal to 200 divided by 25 okay and it will be uh, divided by 100 to make it as in meter okay so here is the 800 zero zero kilonewton uh, per meter square okay i mean uh, 8000 kilonewton per meter square or kilopascal per meter right and uh, here if we see the one thing uh, just after our designing after design we have to check that value okay we have to check that value so uh, and uh, if that check is not okay then we have to change our design properties all right and from here note allowable settlement for isolated footing equal to 25 mm 25 mm and allowable settlement for mat or raft it's 50 mm right for a uh, allowable settlement it's 25 mm and for allowable uh i mean sorry at allowable settlement for footing 25 and allowable settlement for a mat or raft is 
50 mm right so i'll just calculate that actually this is our equation pressure by deformation suppose um, as a uh, if i open our software here so how will just calculate that to calculate that actually what is the pressure suppose 200 2000 psi okay our uh, soil bearing uh, capacity is two, uh, 2000 psi okay so after that i have to just divide it by it's 25 okay actually it will not be 25 because it's 25 millimeter i will just uh, give it 2000 sorry uh, 2000 uh, not psi it's ksi so um, it's ksf sorry it's ksf so 2 5 2 0 0 it's ksf our pressure is ksf and we have to divide that value by the settlement okay what is the what is the allowable settlement 25 mm that means one is okay that means one is and uh, also we have to divide that uh, value of one is by 12 so i'll just give here 12 okay then uh, after giving here 12 i mean uh, we have to divide that value with 12 sorry not 12 actually i have to multiply that value with 12 because uh, we have to divide it uh, that 2000 with one inch so if we convert that on inch to feet then we have to divide it that one inch by 12 okay then uh, the 12 will be multiplied with that 2000 so i'll just uh, close everything then two zero zero into one into twelve so this is our this is our modulus of elasticity okay this is uh that value as psf that value as uh psf 2000 psf and we have converted that in uh, i mean uh we have divided that value with our settlement one inch 25 milli that means i mean mm that means 25 mm that means one inch and we have divided by 12 that one to make it in feet okay so this is the value of this is the value of lb per feet cube okay so two four zero 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 so this is two four zero 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 so this is our subgrade modulus and uh I think it's e okay to you that how we'll define our subgrade modulus actually so also again you can uh, take your take a screenshot from here and also from here I think it will be very very helpful for you okay so after design we'll come here and we'll go for that take okay okay then uh, I'll just click here actually this is for isolated foundation iso okay now i will uh, modify that i will create it for our modulus subgress i mean uh, for mat or raft modify that this is uh, soil properties soil bc bc for mat mat okay and what will be the actually value of it because uh, in mat foundation our allowable settlement is 50 that means allowable settlement is 50 that means e 50 50 millimeter that means it's twins allowable settlement is twins so we have to divide it uh, that uh, we have to divide it the two with 24 okay uh, sorry uh, 12 we have to divide the two into twel uh, 12 that means it will be 1 by 6 that means uh, it will be 200 zero zero 
into 6 then 1 to 0 0 1 to 0 0 0 clear and if you have also confusion here you can comment me below I'll try to cover that so press ok then this is for uh, bearing capacity for ISOM and this is for MAT then press ok so it's done actually so uh, in this way we can define our subject properties and uh, we have uh, defined every properties and in our next video we'll define our load and then we'll go for our final work so thank you thank you very much stay connected till next video